Falcons. That was not a clap. I got thumb and two fingers. And it hurt. Well, anyways, before I start in on the actual subject of today's video, I just wanted to say that this adorable Kyrie Asleep is for sale. So if you're interested at all in having a new cute little baby, just let me know in the comments or visit my Facebook. Because she is looking for a new home. Aw, look at your face. Okay, she's going up on a shelf. There we go. But in today's video, I'm going to change Erilyn. I think I should be up a little bit higher so you can see her properly. Turn her face towards you so you can see her. Alright, well, we're going to take her out of this adorable Carter's sleep sack with narwhals all over it. I can never tell if it's narwhals or narwhals. Because I hear people say both. I don't know if it's supposed to be narwhals or narwhales. But I'm going to change her into a little kind of mix and match outfit. I've got this kind of t shirt top from a Carter set, and then these floral and gray leggings that kind of match the heather gray on the top and then just because I think this neck is going to be a little bit too big I'm going to put in one I'm going to put her in one of the bibs that I knitted oh no it's got a tail I'll have to fix that later and I found some really cute socks at Dollarama the other day so I decided to pick some up and this kind of matches, like, the purple, and then there's some different colors that match in the pants, kind of. Not completely matching, but it works enough. Right? Ooh. Some of these onesies, the snaps are, like, almost impossible to get apart. What is this, Fort Knox? There is hay on her onesie. Pandora, you getting your hair, your hair, you're getting your hair everywhere too, but you getting your hay everywhere. off because those sleeves would poke out. I want to find a sleeveless white onesie for her because I like having the white onesies underneath their clothes. Just because it gives like an extra layer that can help cover up the cloth body because I hate it when the cloth body shows underneath the clothes. when her hair pulls. <laughs> Speaking about hair, the June kit that I'm making got 
the first layer of what's going on with her? She's losing some polyfill on her arm here. <laughs> what you doing, girl? You sprung a leak. <laughs> well, anyways, the seven month June awake kit that I'm painting. She got some eyebrows this morning. I still have to go in a second time and perfect some of the eyebrows. I was having a really hard time with it this morning because someone, and by someone I mean the rabbit, chewed straight through the power cable on my electric pencil sharpener. And in order to, like, I use Prismacolor pencils to draw the eyebrows on my dolls. And in order to do that, you have to get them really super sharp. And it's almost impossible to do with a normal hand pencil sharpener. So I have to go buy a new one. I was looking to replace the power cord, but then I realized by the time I buy the replacement and pay shipping for it, it's going to be, like just as expensive as buying another pencil sharpener from the staples here, so I've got to find time to do that at some point. Pull these pants over your big bum. start my little cat sitting job. Okay, now that I've done that, I liked it better when it was tucked in. <laughs> uh, her head's like almost, you're not an owl. I'm not an owl. Yes, somehow I can take anything and make it a reference to the current pop culture thing I'm obsessed with. Let's pick you up and get the rest of your shirt tucked in. There we go. There. Yeah, the neck's a little bit big for her. care of a kitty cat tomorrow. And then I possibly have someone else that's looking for me to do something, some sort of, I have another job opportunity. Tech, like, like we've made contact through a website. And it could turn into an interview, which could lead to a job, who knows. It's been quite the busy day. I was doing painting and all sorts of stuff this morning, emails and everything, which, unless an email has come in since around 6 o'clock this evening, still haven't heard anything about my missing package of eyeballs, potentially missing package of eyeballs, so that sucks. How did I get onto that transition? <laughs> 
So yeah, I was taking care of emails, and then we went grocery shopping. Came back, did a bunch of housework. Had dinner, and then I realized, oh crud, it's 10 o'clock, and I haven't made a video yet. <laughs> So I'm a little bit out of energy tonight. painting for myself. I've been, I've always been like experimenting with different varnish methods, seeing which one works, and for the past while I've been using satin varnish as my main varnish, and I decided to like, there was some spots that I missed on June, and she was looking a little bit too shiny, so I decided to put some matte varnish on her. And I won't, I won't say that, like, it ruined her, but, like, it doesn't look exactly the way I want it to. But since that, she's not a doll I'm selling, I'm just gonna leave it, and then at, over time, the varnish, the thick built-up varnish tends to start to wear down a little bit. So I think with time, it'll get better. And I'll see when everything's all set and done with. She's got like a little bit of discoloration in her fingers. What the heck is that from? I don't know, I guess maybe that just happens over time. I don't know. I mean, it's not glaring, but it's definitely there. Maybe it's not discoloration and it's paint wearing down. Which does happen after a while. And she has been heavily... Would you say used? I don't know if you'd say used. I've been very active with her. Come on now. There we go. There she is, Miss Erlin. Okay, well, it's getting late. I have to be up at a decent time tomorrow. So, that's going to be it for today's video. There's Fox, there's Luna, Bunny Rabbit, Pandora, Pandora, say hi. Whoa, red eyes, Demon Rabbit, Demon Rabbit. <laughs> Anyways, that's all for now. Stay safe out there, keep living the Froglings life, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.